Slick Reacts, back with another reaction video. Today we have the Angie Martinez Show, 50 Cent Cameron video. Um, I read the description, and I guess this is going to basically tell us where, you know, how this beef basically started. So let's check it out and see what happened. Shout out to all the bottom shops in the city. That's who is it? Alan Cameron and Aaron, Alan, Alan Run, Black. Run Black from um, Koch Rackets. Cameron. Cameron? Let's talk. What's your relationship with Cam? Do you have, have one? Problems. We good. No problems. <laughs> yeah, I ain't had no issues with him. Monte? Is he by himself? We gotta work out this phone situation because there's gonna be a lot of calls Rumble today. Black, yeah, Jimmy with him. Koch Rackets. You have a relationship with, with Dipset? Is good? Yeah. Okay. Actually. Can you um, guys hear me? Who is that? Is it Alan Grumblatt? I'm the general manager of Koch Records. Yeah. Hi, Alan. Hey, how What's you up, doing? Alan? Hey, Angie, thanks for all your support and everything. You what know? about me, Alan? What's that? What about me? Hi. How you doing? Doing good. You want <laughs> to talk? Good. You want to be in the air? That's like good. an artist? Hey, yeah, you know what? You know, just because I've been just hearing a lot of negativity and, you know, Koch Records, we distribute Diplomat Records and, uh, you know... We, yeah, well, Diplomats are cool and... But put Cam on the phone. Diplomat Records, and we pay them. Put Cameron on the, the phone. Unit, and, you know, you know. Put Cameron on the phone. Hang on. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hello? Cam, what's up, baby? 50, what up, baby? Hey, I, was, I just want to step in because I heard you could shut things down over here, and I just want to make sure what's going on. You know, they owe me some things over here. I just want to see what's going on. You can shut down Diplomat Projects. I'm not talking I, about Diplomats. Is it, Cam, huh? did you really want that? No, nah, that's what I was asking. Can you do it? That's what I'm, I'm asking. What I'm saying to you is, listen, let me explain something to you. No, I'm no, saying to you, I got projects over there. I got, you just I just allowed, I just signed there. off, I just signed just off. To, prodigy deal over right, there, I just you? let him do that deal. Huh? Exactly. What? So why would you let him do a deal at Koch, a place that you think is the graveyard? It is the graveyard. So why would you let your man? The only one, you know what it is? Why would you let your buddy with you that you mess with? Because he asked for it. Like, I don't hold people against their will. <laughs> See, Ken, let me tell you something. Look. Let me tell you something about me. Listen. Wait, 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 wait. Here, let's do this. Let, wait, wait, Ken. I don't know what everybody else gets. I'm sitting there. No, no, no. Office. Listen, let me tell you something. I was Look. slipping on Koch. Let me explain something to you about Koch Records. They made 600. They signed a road. They sold their company for $80 million to a company called Row Entertainment. I know exactly what you're talking about. Go ahead, I'm though. letting the world know. They just so sold anyway, portions of it in Canada. They sold a company for $80 million. Last year, Row Entertainment made $600 million, according to the Canadian Wall Street Journal. Koch put a deal on the table for me for $7 million. I say, what are you talking about? That's not 1% of $600 million. So currently, when I was on my rampage talking about Koch owe me cake, yeah, they just made close to a billion dollars in the last two years, and I'm not taking $10 million off a billion dollars. How'd that make but, you feel? But, but at the end of the day, what I'm trying to explain to you, you talk about you Koch is the graveyard. You just <laughs> let your man It is a graveyard. You if you, you got, listen, let me tell you something. Look. If you got now, check this out. Look, initially, initially, when I'm saying that, that's where you go when the majors <laughs> don't don't act like the general public doesn't know that this is where the artists go after. Turn that up a little, I can't the hear majors you. don't act. Can you hear me, Cam? I ain't there, brother. Okay, like we we clear that everybody is is visible that this is where artists go after the majors won't invest in them. Anymore. All right, let me explain something to you. I got three different distributions. I got I got Def Jam, which is listen. a major. When I got Warner Brothers, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah, and the reason why, look, let me tell you, no, 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 let Cam, me for one second, one second. Wait, Before Cam, let's hear, Cam, 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 hold up, Cam, because you, three different we're not talking about your money, Warner Cam. Brothers, Listen to this, Def check this out, look, if you got, look, well, okay, I'm when you was on Def Jam, right? we gotta let, we gotta let each side say All right, check this saying. out, Cam. I'm listening. Let him rock for a, a second. A huge Where portion Lloyd of your success. How much Lloyd Banks hold? Well, Lloyd Banks is at 300000 And he's on Amazing. Jimmy's at 300000 Right, right. And that's and great for Jimmy, but Jimmy's not... Listen, right. look. That's great for Jimmy. Like, every time I talk about bowling, you know what, Cam? If you want to do... He won't let him talk. Like, you're not even trying to hear what this dude's got to say to you. Banks is at 300000 Jim Jones is at 300000 Yeah. Jim Jones is on an independent... Lloyd yeah. Banks is on yelling. But Lloyd Banks has more money than Jim Jones. And when you want to talk on that level. See, he's giving, you're getting ready to turn it into something else. Check this out. What is you talking about? Then you let Prodigy come over here. You yeah, I let him do a deal over there. Because he asked to do the deal over there. And I said, you know what? You can go if you want to do that. All right, y'all got to. Curtis. Yo, Curtis, how much did Mob 
be so this year. You're not going to be. You can already right, co- cause right, a whole Curtis, different situation. Right, Watch this. Curtis. Let's not let's not make it a different situation. He thinks that it's good. He thinks that it's good to go in the competition. I'm not gonna stop competing. How much did the mouth sound, Curtis? Let me tell you something. Your your whole your the difference between Dipset and the average artist that signs to to. Whoa whoa! All right, we gotta shut him off. Monse, Monse, Monse. Monse, we gotta cut it, honey. The difference Cam, between... I'm sorry, baby, we keep, we, and I want to be fair but to everybody, but... Now, we, listen, the we difference can't between... Curse. We can't... Even you, Cam, can't curse. The average... Right? Wow. Yeah, so Cameron wasn't letting him, letting him say shit at all. <clears throat> There's got to be more to it, though, right? Like, 50 wouldn't put out diss songs just off of this one phone call, like, Right? I don't know. If you guys know of any videos that might explain this a little bit better, let me know because I want to look into this some more. But in the next video, we're going to be checking out the Cameron disses towards 50, see what he had to say. But uh, yeah, if you liked the video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out that notification bell icon so you don't miss out when I release a new video. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.